Welcome to Utopia, favored ones. Let's do a pick a pile reading. So for pile number one, we have nine of materials. So nine of pentacles. It's giving uh, Queen Herbie vibes. You're very hypnotic with your blossoming. Very succulent. I'm getting tastemaker energy where you're very fashionable. You may make your own clothes as well as people just want the 411. They want to know where did you get that shade of lipstick? You know, where did you get your vape? Uh, what kind of shampoo do you use? Stuff like that. They really just want to know the knit and grit. They want to know down to the soil, like what kind of soil are you using in your garden? People just really want to connect and find out what the secret sauce of happiness is. Uh, you may look very uh, stable at this time. You may work with horses as well. Uh, but yeah, stability is coming in. People are gifting you things as well. I'm seeing here with that rose. This, people are giving you your roses. They're giving you your flowers. You may work on stage uh any type of performer really uh, you, i'm getting hearing biddies so you may work on twitch as well i'm also hearing a florist you may do feng shui design and the alignment of the roses is kind of reminding me of like get, trying to get your chakras in order and your kundalini arising um, many of you may work with your hands of healing, uh, whether that's Reiki, uh, you know, uh, being working in hospice with uh, older folks. Uh, you may work in child care or just really nurturing for your children at this time is uh, I'm hearing it's a hot commodity. A very hot topic. Yeah, you may... Um, oh! <laughs> yeah, you may work at Hot Topic. Uh, you may have people who you bump into from a while ago who are just really surprised with how well you're doing and how much commitment and change you've made for yourself. I'm gonna fix that because... Yeah, all evil eyes return to sender. You're just not even acknowledging that, right? Uh, you're not even acknowledging it at all. You look completely unbothered, moisturized in your own lane, you know, um, being the best trash raccoon you can be uh, with all the black and white. It's really giving me uh, the feeling of uh, raccoons. Some of you may enjoy them. Or pandas might be something that... Uh, resonates with someone and for pile number two we have black hole sun <laughs> energy coming through with the eight of emotions eight of cups I feel like since the eclipse seasons that you've been sandwiched in between has really um, allowed you the opportunity to integrate your shadow maybe you were living in the shadow of your past and it was looming over you like a big ball of shame and you've released that now so that you can welcome in the comfort of pleasures and and flow with the desert here i'm hearing uh also as well the song um a year without rain so you may live in a droughted area or you may have felt like you were droughted from love or a way out. And I feel like you are following your North Star through the desert <clears throat> and finding your way to the other side, to your destination. So you, uh, you may be working with your North Node right now with your natal chart. And looking up the differences between the Vedic and, you know, uh, Western charts. You may be looking into your Draconic uh, chart as well. And just learning how to navigate. Yeah, looking at this right here, especially with the big light, I feel like you are cracking 
you're the birth of yourself is cracking wide open like you're cracking this birth of a new self wide open you're taking a new name for yourself you are not allowing others to speak over you who you are or what you stand for and a lot of you may have had to speak out on you know family ties and you know you the the shadow of your family leering over you that could have been a part of that big looming shame. But you're allowing your passion to come through the crust of that uh, shame and allowing love frequency to shine through. You are breaking through from the fear mode and embracing the love mode. And that's incredible, pile number two. I applaud you. Uh, I know you... Don't need the outside validation or accolades because it probably feels amazing to just experience yourself. But I feel like you also don't get told uh, by others that, uh, that I'm proud of you. Spirit's proud of you. You should be proud of yourself. And uh, if you aren't yet, then you have plenty of reasons to, to be coming up in your future. So that's it, what I have for both of you. Thank you, everyone who came through. I really appreciate your love and support. And I love being able to love and support you. So remember to eat, hydrate, rest, and have fun, favored ones.